King Ferdinand, not Winston Churchill, not Charles Darwin, nor Deng Xiaoping, nor Karl Marx, not Albert Einstein, not Martin Luther or Martin Luther King Jr., not George Washington, not John F. Kennedy, and certainly not Bill Clinton, not Tony Blair, nor John Howard, nor George Bush Sr. or George Bush Jr. Not you, not me, not our parents, nor our grandparents, nor any of our ancestors can match this man Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To the non-Muslims, I say to you, go home and read about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tonight if you dare, if you're not afraid of change. Because if you read about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with an open heart and an open mind, there's a chance that love for this man and respect for this man will come into your life, come into your heart, come into your mind, come into your family and your home. And you also may want to be a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you should choose to do so, you will never elevate his name. You will never increase any blessings to his ummah, but you will benefit your own selves. And so we invite you to embrace, to understand, to respect that man Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his message.